Hello there. I'm going to share in this screencast how to manage and download and ultimately clear out and delete large files that are in your Moodle course. Now we're primarily talking about backup files that you've made in your course at the end of term probably that sometimes can take hundred, several hundred megabytes of storage space on your, in your course and on the system. So we'll start off by going into the gear in the upper right, about halfway down to restore. And in this area, you're going to see a course backup area and probably a user private backup area. We're pretty much talking about the course backup area where you've just made your quick backups at the end of each term. You may see two or three or five or ten or quite a few backups you've made over the, over the years. And from here, before you delete them, you might want to download them, which you can do individually. Uh, I'll, sh I'll show you here in a second how to uh, download those in bulk. Real fast though, these files you're seeing on this screencast are quite tiny. They're not, even a, they're not even a megabyte. But we quite often see Moodle course backup files of several hundred megabytes, sometimes even over a gigabyte of file size. And it'll really help us all to have the system run smoother if we deal with these larger files by ultimately taking them off the system. So let's click into the Manage Backup Files area. I mentioned a second ago, if you want to download these all at once, this little button right here lets you download them all. What this will do is have Moodle create one zip file containing all of your backup files. And it might take a few minutes to prepare that file, especially, again, if your files are a few hundred megabytes. And then ultimately, it will download them all in one zip file that will contain multiple zip files representing each backup that you downloaded. So let's say I've done that and I'm ready to delete these files. There's just a couple in here. You'll see if you have uh, more than just a few, it'll be a little tedious, but it's well worth it to just individually click each one, click the delete button, and confirm. Click the next one, click delete, and confirm. In this case, all those files are gone now, so I need to make sure and save changes at the tail end. And now all of those files in my course backup area are taken care of. And that is as easy as it is. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.